In this lesson, we're going to learn about the Keyshot Material Graph user interface. To get into our material graph, we need to start by selecting a material to be edited. I'll double click on the top portion of our shader ball. And of course, we're presented with the properties on the right hand side for this material. To go into the material graph, we'll see there's a button called material graph just to the left of multi material and underneath the name of this material. When I click on material graph button, we get a new window that pops up. Yours may not appear on the right hand side. I just like to drag this to the right side of my Keyshot window and use it like this. This gives me access to all the material properties I need as well as my material that I'm looking at on the left hand side. Now, if I want to see my material and not have this window overlap so much, we can actually go to our camera, go to our free camera, middle mouse button and drag, and this is going to offset our material so we can keep an eye on it and still open up the material graph and have plenty of room to access everything we need here. So let's take a tour of the material graph. Right in the middle where your eyes probably drawn to is the workspace. And currently there are three boxes. We call these boxes nodes. There are three nodes in this workspace right now. The one that is selected or currently active is the one with the orange outline. You activate a different node by double clicking on it. You'll notice the node on the right that has the thicker, brighter orange outline is the root node. Now, if we wanna give this node a name, we can actually do so by going to its properties and changing the current name to something else. I'll call it root. And I'm calling it a root node because this is the most basic level of this material. Now, when I grab this node, I can drag it off to the side. You can see that these nodes are connected by strings, blue lines. We call those connectors. And when you connect one node to another, you connect them through these sockets. These white circles are called sockets. And each socket is going to correspond to a different property within the node that you're connecting. We'll get a little bit more into that and that workflow in a little bit, but I also wanna to continue to give you the full tour of the material graph. So right now our material is called root. Even though I named this node root, it is in fact also now the name of this material. So if I wanna call this uh, pink spots, uh, spotted plastic, you'll see that that will also change the name of the root node, because again, the root node is what's representing this material as a whole. All these other nodes are just extra details, I suppose, or attributes of this material. Across the top, we have a ribbon in here like we do in the rest of Keyshot's user interface. We have a option to save this material to our library. We also have a add material node button. We have an add texture button. We have an add animation node button add a utility node button and add a disp or a geometry node button. Uh, we also have duplicate selected nodes. We have a trash can. We have uh, three modes for preview, preview color, preview alpha, preview bump. We also have a, an align nodes in work area button. We have a show only active, zoom to fit, uh, fit to view, I believe, and then create multi-materials and execute geometry nodes. I'll be honest, I don't click on very many of these. Almost always it's faster not to. So I recommend you know those are there, but you can kind of ignore them from here on out. On the right hand side, we have our material properties. Yeah, so if you hit the M key, it will switch between materials and textures and node properties. You can see that these seem to be uh, docked down below here. Um, I just always leave the material properties visible up here. Sometimes you can resize them. And that's pretty much it. The way we're gonna use and work within this space almost always is by right clicking. When you right click in this gray area, you're presented with most of these options you get up here in the ribbon. So right click and you get materials, geometry, textures, etc. A Couple other things you can do when it comes to working in here, you just kind of click and drag an outbound socket. Outbound means it's on the right hand side of the node. Inbound sockets are on the left-hand side, and when you connect them, things happen to the material. So this is basically just a very visual representation of all the components of your material appearance. And the reason the material graph is so well-liked is because, in my opinion, it allows you to make materials more quickly, and it gives you a more visual representation of your materials and all the attributes they might have. 
in most cases, what you're seeing in the material graph, when you make changes there, they're also happening in these other menus here that you've been used to or exposed to already. But in my opinion, memorizing the layers of menus in this part of Keyshot can actually get quite confusing. I find it easier to keep track of materials up here in the material graph. So we're going to talk a little bit more on how to use this and get much more in depth here in the next videos. But that's just a basic intro to the Keyshot material graph user interface.